हेलो दोस्तों कैसे हैं आप लोग इसके पहले वी हैव मेड अ वीडियो वेर वी हैव शूट हाउ टू कनेक्ट एंड्रॉइड ऑटो विथ वक्स वगन वर्टिस इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन शो यू हाउ टू कनेक्ट एप्पल कार्ड प्ले एंड आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू व्हाट ऑप्शंस एंड फीचर्स व्हाट एप्स वी कैन एक्सेस इन द वर्टिस आफ्टर कनेक्टिंग एंड्रॉयड ऑटो लेट स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो नाउ आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू गो टू माई आई फोन एंड आई एम गोइंग टू स्विच ऑन ब्लूटूथ so here i'm going to go to settings then connect and i'm going to switch on the bluetooth and press on add new device now it's searching we have found it i'm just going to hit it at the same time now i'm going to pair it with my phone i'm going to say yes it's trying to establish the bluetooth connection and it's asking whether i want to enable carplay going to wait till it gets connected and voila so it got connected very fast in fact it was faster than android auto so this is the all apps button so these are all the apps that we can see icons are quite big so we have a phone dialer we have our music apple music we also have this map so this is apple maps we have the messages we have if the press this option it goes to the main home screen of the vertus we have podcast we have audio books and we have few other apps like calendar whatsapp youtube music google maps and we suppressing you also has a teams app i don't know if anybody takes teams call using the car infotainment system well now you have an option also so on this side this is the network button where it shows the a uh, network strength of the service provider this is showing the battery indicator below that it is the shortcut for apple maps also shortcut for apple music and mess i messages main screen okay now playing this is apple music and this is apple maps if we press it can get some destination we can search it like this we can type it out but uh, we i generally don't use apple maps i'm going to just going to check how well it runs the google maps which i normally use also i can search any destination search a petrol pump so it's searching all the databases so these are all the options that we have nearby let's go to this and it shows in a rather intuitive way okay i'm going to accept it okay here and west towards south pavakal hospital road and also gives voice directions i was earlier using android auto and google maps in it but what i see the apple carplay interface is a little smoother so i'm just going to click on exit go to the main screen let's check out the how does the voice command works hi i'm siri how can i help you what is the weather like today so it does take around time one moment Understood. it's currently clear and 30 degrees expect mostly clear skies starting in the evening temperatures are heading down from 30 degrees to 27 tonight so the temperature is getting cooler so that's a good thing it's little slower but because we are just using it for the first time maybe that's why it is let's try another command who is the prime minister of india narendra modi is the prime minister of india when is the next cricket match of india india takes on pakistan in the t20 match tomorrow at 1:30 pm i am quite excited for this match i'm sure you are also the voice prompts work very well let's check out youtube music this is one app which i regularly use it's getting loaded so i have all the usual options so normally when i was using android auto this all were coming i'd say it's a minimalist interface because the icons are so big okay so it also shows you the last destination that you have searched so i like this thing quite good also i can start the navigation or stop it also showing is now play 
So since the icons are little, so big, so the interface is clean. In Android Auto, there were a lot of icons in one home page that was making the UI much cluttery. But this is much nicer. In fact, the graphics also looks much crisper than Android Auto. So yeah, Apple, very good job. Just click on messages. So I can also read all the messages that I have. In Android Auto, I was only able to read those messages which I received after I connect Android Auto. So this is a good thing. Also, I'll check out WhatsApp. I'll need to access your WhatsApp data to do this. Okay, I'm just going to hit yes. Do you want to send a message or make a call? Make a message. Who do you want to send a message to? Mrs. Kaur. What do you want to say to Mrs. Kaur? How are you today? Your WhatsApp message says, how are you today? Do you want to change it or send it? Send it. Send. Wow. So it's nice. I can just send a message. Do you want to send a message or make a call? Okay, so I cannot use WhatsApp. I mean, I cannot open it. I can use Siri, my voice assistant, to send or receive a message. So, good thing. Uh, it's much less distracting than taking your eyes off the road while driving and open the app yourself. Also, I'm just going to quickly see what settings I can do. So, these are the different settings uh, I can get. You can change wallpapers. Let's check out some wallpapers. Okay, I'm going to use this one. Oh, and it changes. So, this is a nice touch. I can change wallpapers as well. Not a lot of options, but still, it's a much better to have few. Mm, I can go back to settings. I can always also change the appearance. I'll just set it at as automatic so that it's not always dark. Right now, it is evening, so it will be dark. Driving focus, let's check what it is. Driving focus silences some alerts and notifications. Incoming calls will not be silenced while card play. So I'm just going to activate it because it's always better to have less distractions. So these are all the settings. Not a lot, but quite useful. And this is the home screen. Let's check out the calendar. Okay, so this opens the Google Calendar and don't have anything today tomorrow it's the Pavli. so nice let's open the team set. i'll need to access your team's data to do this okay right now i don't want to do this. okay i won't do it great nice clean interface not a lot of apps i would say but quite useful apps also this on the right hand side it shows the last three app that is open so that is quite handy and this is the main home screen. I'm just gonna quickly check out Apple Music. And whatever music I purchased through in iTunes will be will appear here. So I'm not gonna use Apple Music because I already have an active subscription of YouTube music. Let's check out Apple Maps. So yeah, now it's showing a lot of options. But generally Google Maps is much better than Apple Maps, and I am using Google Maps. So this was how you can connect Apple CarPlay. I must say the connection is very seamless. Uh, you get few apps also, useful ones, handy ones, and the voiced assistance also works really well. Uh, I think I'm going to use Apple CarPlay quite often, maybe more than Android Auto. Now I also have this Apple CarPlay option activated. So once you activate Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, this icon remains flashed. Earlier it was dim because I didn't connect it in the iPhone. Now that I have, so it's there. You can also have the option to make a call directly from here and it directly goes into the dialer. I can see my voicemails, can have my keypad, dial anyone to make a call. I can access my contacts, my recent call details, I can check favorites. So it's so thank you guys for watching the video. Please give your valuable suggestions in the comment section and let us know how much you like this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends so thank you for watching see you in our next video